Welcome to another lesson with Ming. Today we talk about mean, median, and mode in a histogram. We start the lesson with uh, looking at an exercise and uh, study this histogram. Uh, it tells you the number of hours that uh, people exercise per week, and our task is to estimate the mean, mode, and median. You may want to pause the video and attempt this question before replay. Welcome back. We'll look at the easiest question first. In this case, it's the mode. The group with the largest frequency is the model group. So in this case, which is the group with the largest frequency? Very good. This one, right? That is the group from 0 to 4, including 0, but not 4. And if you want to find a point estimate of mode, well, then this is going to be just the mid interval value of this particular group. That is 0, point, 0 plus 4 divided by 2, or just 2. Next, we look at the mean. So, first, these are, we can think of this as a continuous data. And we need to find a value to represent each of this group. And one of the representation is the mid value in the interval. So for example, in this case, 0 plus 4, this particular group, 0 plus 4 divided by 2, that's just 2. So the mid value is 2. Then the next is 6, and then 10, 14, 18, and 22. So I'm going to write this down. The x here represents our mid interval. So And the frequency for each of this group, the first one is 14 here. Yeah. Next is 8 here occur 14 times. So 2 occur 14 times means there are 28 in total. 6 occur 8 times, so 48. 10 occur 10 times, so 100. The total of 436. Therefore, the mean here is just 436 divided by 48, which is roughly 9.0823 SF. Now we look at looking for the for the median. To look for the median is a little bit more work. Uh, we know that the total frequency here is 48. So the median occurs at 48 plus 1 divided by 2 or uh, that is 49 divided by 2 that is between uh, 24.5 that is between the 24th and the 25th observation that is the median occurred between the 24th and 25th observation so if you look at the first two group we have 14 plus 8 that adds up to about 22 to get to 24.5 I need about two and a half more that means my median is in, going to be in this third group here. And uh, I need two and a half. Here, the frequency in the third group is 10. So what I need is this. Two and a half over 10. And that is, the, that is two and a half out of the 10 frequency. And the group interval here. The group interval here is 12 minus 8 is 4. And uh, that is the value, and I need to start from 8. So 8 plus this amount. So that is precisely 9. So the median is 9. All right, study this histogram and uh, attempt this question. Find a mode, mean, and median for this set of data. Again, please pause the video and attempt this question before you replay all right, let us start with the easiest one, that is the mode. Do you get this answer? The model group is this, between 10 and 15, because this is the group with the highest frequency, 16. That's the tallest bar. The point estimate of the mode is just the mid value of this group. So it's 10 plus 15 divided by 2, or 25 divided by 2, that is 12.5. So the estimate, the mode here is 12.5. Now we look for the mean. First we look for the uh, representative value for each of this group. So here 
the mid interval is between 2 and 3, that is 2.5. The here, the mid interval, the second group is between 7 and 8, 7.5. Next is between 12 and 13, 12.5. And next is between 17 and 18, 17.5. Then last one is between 22 and 23, 22.5. And the frequency related to each group, the first group is 12, the frequency, next is 14, next is 16, and then 10, and then 5. And if you add up all the frequencies, you will get 57 as the total frequencies. And the next, 2 and a half happened 12 times, so that product is 30. Next, the product 7.5 happens 14 times, so the product is 105. And the next product is 200, 175, 112.5, with a total of 622.5. So x bar, or the mean in this case, is 622.5 divided by 57. So x bar in this case is roughly 10.9 to 3 significant figures. Now we consider the median. If we look at the, the first two frequencies, then this add up to 26. But our median happens at 29 observation. That is 57 plus 1 divided by 2 is at the 29 observation. That is, considering these first two groups, we have 26, the 29 observation must happen somewhere here in the third bar. So I need three more. So three out of 16. I mean, because in the third bar, the total frequency is 16, and we assume that the data are evenly distributed bit from 10 to 15. So three out of 16, and the width here is 15 minus 10, that is a 5, right? And, uh, and I'm starting from 10. And if you work this out, and you come out that the, the value here is approximately 10.9. That is, the median for this set of data is 10.9 kilometers per week. Thank you for learning, and hope to see you in the next lesson.